Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your Windows 11 desktop without using popular desktop widget software called Rainmeter. With that said, make sure that you watch until the end for the complete result. And if you're wondering what is that wallpaper on my desktop, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. And now let's begin. To begin with, let's open your web browser or just switch to another tab if you're watching this video right now and search for the unsplash.com. Click on the link, which I will also provide in the video description right below the like button, by the way. And now you can go here to the wallpapers tab on the unsplash.com. Scroll down until you find the wallpaper which you like. Personally, I will scroll down and download this one right here from Colin Watts. And on the top right, you will see this green download free button. Now you will click on this green arrow which will show you the drop down menu and down below you have original size and then you will just select that and you will get the wallpaper now what i recommend is that you go here to this folder icon and now you will be redirected to your downloads folder and once you have the file you can just right click on it and then you can click here set as desktop background now you have a brand new wallpaper on your desktop which should look like this and now let's continue with the widget on our desktop so open your microsoft store and here you will search for b widgets and will act as a substitution for the rainmeter application click on it and then you will get click on the get button to install this application once b widgets app is installed you will see open button and you will just press on it and it should open the widgets application right away and now you have here the welcome screen of the b widget here on the left you will see a blue button which is called new widget you will press on that and you will see that the widget should be created on your desktop and now down below the widget you will have the customize button so here you will click on the customize and now you will basically change all the parameters to your liking personally i will move the width to let's say 460 and the height to let's say 180 down below you will scroll down and select the time text and here you will change the font size font weight and also the font style for my liking i will just increase the font size to let's say 133 like so and then i will just change the font weight to let's say extra black and for the background color here you will basically change the transparency of the widget right now it's currently set to 60 as default but i like this widget to be a bit more transparent on my desktop so i will put here 40 like so and this is pretty much it now what i also recommend is that you place the widget where you would like it to be on your desktop personally i will move it like so somewhere in the middle of the screen and then if you don't want to move widget anymore you will go back to b widgets to the widget settings and on the top you will check option unclickable and you won't be able to move it accidentally if you move the cursor around your desktop and this is pretty much it for the widgets and now let's move on to the taskbar so open the web browser and paste this link in the new tab and on this website you will go here to the releases and the rounded db just got updated to support the latest version of windows which is at the time of the recording this video 23h2 so on this website you will scroll down and you will select this .7z file and once you have it you will go to your downloads folder and you will select it and on the top you will here select extract all and down below once again click on the extract button now what i highly recommend is that if you don't want to remove this program accidentally that you go inside the folder where it says rounded tb and then you will basically right click and select here cut to cut the file and then you will go to your local disk c and on this drive you will go on the top left and create a new folder here i recommend that you call it to weeks press enter and then inside this folder you will basically paste this file once you've done that you will open the folder which contains the rounded tb program and if you don't see the dot exe ending of the file you will need to go here to the view 
and down below you click on the show here make sure that you check the option called file name extensions click on this and now you should see that the rounded tb has the exa ending at the end of it and now you can just click double left click on the rounded tb for example the this program does not start for you you will basically right click on it and make sure that you select here run as administrator and now once this program is open you will see this welcome screen here you will just press ok here you have the configuration options for this program now what i recommend personally is that you enable here dynamic mode so this will divide the taskbar to three different sections or in this case to two different sections here you also have a few of the parameters to configure i don't like the margins so i will put all these margins which are currently set to three to zero and also you have here the taskbar tray which i will also right now disable so if you click on it here you will uncheck this option and then you will click apply and the taskbar tray should be removed click on the apply and once you've done that you will see that the taskbar is kind of glitched so you will right click on the taskbar and you will go here to the taskbar settings make sure that you go here to the taskbar behaviors and under the taskbar alignment make sure that you put it to the left and then once again to the center and when you have here the option called combine taskbar buttons and hide labels make sure that you set this option to the always or if you also have the issues you can go here to this pc local disk c under the tweaks you will once again launch the rounded tb.exe file and this should solve all the issues if you want to round this tb to start with your computer you will open any window if you like to the full screen and then you will go to your system tray and then you will right click on the rounded tb icon and make sure that you here select run at startup once this is done you will then go to your microsoft store once again and for the wallpaper we will search for the application called lively wallpapers once you have found it you will go to this site here click on get and this will basically install itself once this is done you will click on the open like so and now here you have many options to pick from for the wallpaper here i will go with this rain wallpaper and once it's set for the desktop image you will click on the three dots like so and then you will click here on the customize now brand new menu should appear here you will click on this icon which is looking like a document and now you will go to your downloads folder and here make sure that you select the wallpaper which you previously downloaded from the unsplash.com click on open and here what i like to do is is to put the brightness to the max if you scroll down here you will put the parallax to zero blur intensity to zero as well disable the post processing and here you will also increase the normal to let's say 70 and tone down intensity a bit so let's say about 30 and this is pretty much it now this wallpaper app will live inside your system tray like the other apps as well i think this is it for this video thank you so much for watching all the required files will be linked in the video description right below the like button and if you haven't already make sure that you drop a like as well and subscribe to the channel would also be much appreciated thank you once again for watching have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next one peace